hello guys okay today I'm going to show how to uh, calculate 3 by 3 matrix inverse of 3 by 3 matrix using Casio FX 991ES plus it is actually simple it's not very hard but I still believe that is not everybody that might be able to do just read the manual and know it at once there are people that still want you will still need to watch videos like this and to be able to know how it is used so i was solving problems on beams i was analyzing on indeterminate beams and so i at the end using flexibility metrics at the end i came up with this three by three matrix so now i need to calculate inverse inverse of this matrix yeah so how do i now calculate this inverse normally i should use the normal uh, manual calculation but you know when you are solving a very long process in beams you know you are solving a very long uh, method in beams trying to analyze the forces and the moments and then you you come again to start solving matrix and a very long process is <laughs> very time consuming and you know tedious so calculator at this point always help a lot so now instead for me to start solving this matrix in a very long using that long method why not use calculator and get the answer straight and then move forward so i use this opportunity to make this video so that people who may also need to use calculator at this point might also learn all right so i want to find inverse of this matrix right now how do i do that now in your casio calculator fx 991 es okay so yes that is the calculator i want to find inverse of this matrix now first of all before you start calculating the inverse you have to press this mode then you see matrix there you press six at that point i want to uh, add my matrix in math a i want to put this matrix in math a that means i want to store it there so that anything i want to do later whether multiplication whether metric inverse whatever i want to do i will just call that mat a back and then do the manipulation so now i'm going to choose one i'm going to choose one because of that mat a so when i choose one because my matrix is three by three i'm going to choose one again which signifies three by three so i'm going to press one and now this one is the former matrix i have already put before i did not clear it but now i want to put this so there is no problem with that what i will do is start typing this 166.67 once you type it you press equal to and your cursor will be moving like this you're moving from row one column one to column two row one column three row one then now enters uh, column one row two and it moves like that till the last one so now that i've entered this it has the cursor has moved from here to this particular column one column two row one so now let's type minus 50 i'm going to type minus 50 equal to once i do that it has moved again to the next one which is minus three i'm going to type minus three seven point five so i'm going to type minus three seven point five equal to again i'm going to type minus fifty minus fifty equal to i'm going to type this uh sixty five point six seven equal to twenty two equal to you keep typing minus three seven point five equal to 22 equal to 18 when when you are done you press equal to and that's all what you do is just exit press ac this button 
now we want to find inverse that is not all that is not inverse but now we want to find inverse how do you find inverse you click on the shift button okay when you click on the shift button you see where this written matrix here that is button number four you click on that and you now we have we have to call out math a because we stored our data on math a so we have to call that which is number three what you do is you press three and what do you do to math a are we multiplying are we adding are we dividing are we subtracting but no none of this we are doing inverse so you just press this that is we are we need inverse of this math a so once you press that this button you now press equal to and the answer will come out now you can see the answers i can now start writing the answers i have here i have the 0 0.0191 0 0.0191 so i'm going to write that 191 the next one is if you cannot see clearly what is on the uh, on the brackets you can be moving your cursor just right cursor and you will see it written boldly beneath here so there you have you have to look at it very well because as you can see it is raised to power minus 3 times 10 raised to power minus 3 that means your answer will be minus 0 0.00 right nine okay that's it you can use nine or nine zero eight now you move again to the next one you have zero point zero seven zero you can put it if you want the next seven okay uh next one same you can see times 10 raised to power minus 3. You have to be careful. Don't write minus 9 point something. So it's going to be minus 0 0.00908. Next one. Okay. 0 0.039. Mm, let's say 5. Next one. Minus 0 0.093. Let's stop there. And next one. 0 0.0707 next one minus 0 0.093 and next the last one 0 0.438 okay so here i just write wrote out the numbers from the calculator so that is just that is just it that now this is the inverse of these numbers now for me to not rush to check if my my this thing was correct i can go back to that i can go back to that my matrix to see if i have actually typed it correctly press one so it was three by three sorry that is a mistake you can go back press six and then press one one again okay it has been deleted because i have already used it so if you want to check you can still check again see if this number because if you have mistake if you are calculating this and you make the mistake hey, is you are done with it so let's let's quickly type everything again one six six point six nine seven equal to minus fifty equal to minus thirty seven point five equal to minus 50 equal to 